Could the Hindenburg disaster have been prevented? Stay tuned, that's coming up. Welcome to That Was History. My name is Cliff Langston, and I personally believe that the Hindenburg disaster was completely avoidable. If you can't recall, the LZ-129 Hindenburg was a German-made passenger airship that was used to travel across the Atlantic Ocean between 1936 and 1937. Tragically, on May 6th of 1937, the Hindenburg caught fire and was destroyed while attempting to dock in New Jersey. 13 passengers, 22 crewmen, and one worker on the ground were killed as a result. The interesting thing is the whole thing could have been avoided. Despite popular belief, this was not the first airship accident to occur, nor was it the deadliest. Seven whole years prior to this disaster, the British R101 went down and immediately burst into engulfing flames upon impact. While the flames were considered a byproduct of a larger issue here, the speed at which the R101 burned up should have been a big red flag to those developing future airships. As we now know, the culprit for such a rapid burn is the hydrogen that filled these airships, including the Hindenburg. Wow. Since the R101 could have been written off as an early development accident, let's strengthen the argument further. In 1933, which is still four whole years before the Hindenburg disaster, a U.S. Navy commissioned airship known as the Akron crashed off the coast of New Jersey for reasons that are still unclear. This crash killed 72 people. What's worse is that another airship arrived on the scene of the accident to look for survivors and ended up crashing as well, killing two more people. The kicker here is that these Zeppelins were filled with the much preferred helium and not the dangerous hydrogen found in the Hindenburg. So basically, flammable gas or not, these airships were just poorly designed accidents waiting to happen. As mentioned earlier, the Hindenburg continued to use hydrogen as its main source of flight power. As much as I would like to blame some poor German engineer for this, using hydrogen was actually the United States' fault. Germany referred to the R101 accident from 1930 and absolutely wanted to use helium instead of hydrogen. But the United States had a monopoly on the world supply of helium at the time. The U.S. feared that other countries might attempt to use helium for military purposes and decided to hog the helium for themselves. Due to this, the Hindenburg was reworked to use hydrogen despite the risks associated with the gas. It wasn't until after the Hindenburg burst into flames that popular opinion prevailed which favored the exportation of helium to other countries for safety reasons. Add in the fact that the Hindenburg included a smoker's lounge and it becomes obvious that the Hindenburg was bred to fail much like our beloved Titanic. That's my time for today, but I would love for you to jump in and leave me some comments below. As always, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. We're all over the place. If you're looking for more history goodness, check out these three videos. I think you will enjoy them as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.